Well, I'm happy to be back to chat about our third quarter results, which were record from a production point of view. And the key driver for that record production was an outstanding performance from our Meadowbank mine, which saw higher grades in certain parts of the open pit to drive the second half production. But we also saw the return of Kitala. We did have some extended maintenance in the second quarter, so Kitala was back and had itself a record quarter. Third quarter costs on a unit cost basis are extremely attractive, and that's just not the result of getting more ounces because of higher grades at Keithland and Meadowbank. It's also because our employees have done a really effective job on managing costs. And we're doing that through reductions in operating costs, reductions in admin costs. We've reduced some of our exploration budgets. We've also looked at our discretionary capital. So for the things that we can control, which is our production and our ability to produce gold and our, and our cost to produce the gold, uh, our teams have done an exceptional job this year and we expect that to continue. And this is the seventh consecutive quarter that we've met or exceeded our production and cost targets. The disappointing part is really the share price, is despite the fact that we're meeting all of our operating goals in terms of production and costs, the share price is, is clearly not performed. And that's a reflection, we think, of the gold price going down significantly, which puts uh, strain and stress on, on the industry and the businesses, but we don't control the gold price, so it's really about how we can adapt uh, to the volatile and lower gold price environment, and we've had a history of being able to adapt and solve problems, and uh, that's what we're going to do. The nice thing about uh, our positioning now is we can continue to grow our production base. The production growth is really coming from uh, three principal areas. One is La Ronde. We've been working for many years to put in infrastructure in the lower part of the La Ronde mine where our gold grades are very high. So we've been mining for the last few years at well below reserve grade at La Ronde. Over the next two or three years, we begin to bring more tonnage from the lower mine, which increases the grade. So we're going to see a significant increase in output from La Ronde over the next two to three years. But we've also got the restart of Goldex. So our team has worked extremely well over the last couple of years understanding the issues there. And we've actually poured gold for the first time in two years at Goldex with the restart on the satellite zones. And we have another new mine starting, La India in Mexico. And that's a testament to our ability to do business in northern Mexico. We acquired that project two years ago. And from acquisition, through acquiring surface rights, getting permits, through doing the engineering and construction, we're about to start pouring gold there. So it's really Gold Axel India and accessing the higher grade gold material at La Ronde that drives the growth. In the gold business, it's really about long term. The gold price we don't control. Uh, what you try to do is put yourself in a position where you have a business that you can actually manage. We're in the fortunate position that the growth that we've laid out over the next two to three years, we can achieve. It's from mines that are built, mines that are pouring gold, uh, mines that we're accessing better grade. So it's a business that we're used to managing. We've demonstrated our ability to manage. We've done a really good job and our team has done a really good job in controlling uh, not only our production and meeting our production targets, but also meeting our cost targets.